I have decided to come to Colombia, despite our bad reputation. Because we perfectly understand in the 90s, you can come and visit us. We were the most dangerous city of the entire planet. For us is magic, for us is magical. Hey and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. I just wanted to make this video because I have officially been here for six months now. So if you don't know, I was living in the United States and I decided to immigrate to Colombia and start traveling uh, full time. And this is my first destination. First, I wanted to talk about some of the things I have done while I've been in Colombia. So the past six months, a lot of things has happened. We have moved uh, three times. Well, it will be three times. Well, first, we stayed in a town in Bogota, and that was just for a month until we got situated and found a place to stay for a little bit. And we decided to move to La Caleta. And I have made a video of a little bit of the town that we're staying in now. Then my husband and I started growing uh, weed and now we have a weed farm. I also have videos on that. And something else that I started doing while being here is I started meditating and doing yoga. Since traveling, I started to become more minimalistic because I can't have that many things. And one of my goals is to be close to zero waste as possible. I am starting to create my own soaps and things like that that I use around the house. So I don't use plastic and I don't have to buy them at the store. I can just buy things and make them myself. And I will be showing videos in the future about that. I've also been fortunate to have gone to many cities around the Bogota area and I was able to partake in three different protests. So that was really cool. And some of the bad things I have experienced while, while being here are um, the government and the, the political system isn't top notch, which it's not anywhere. There are times where a lot of things are less conventional, such as and getting important documents or um, transportation is a little difficult getting to and from places because there's so many people and there's not a very good transportation system set up yet. Also, a lot of things are very old school, like paying the bills and some of those things you have to do it in person. Very old school, however, it's not always a bad thing. I don't particularly think that's a bad thing. Also, the city for me personally is not to my liking. I don't really enjoy a lot of being around a lot of people. I'm very introverted and there's just a lot of people really and that's really the biggest thing and a lot of noises. It's it's pretty noisy. But in all honesty, there's more similarities than differences when it comes to living in a different country. Some of the good things, I really do enjoy the countryside here and how it is old school and how it's a lot more laid back and a lot of the produce is fresh and local and I really like that. Also just since living here I've lost about 30 pounds and that's because more people here walk and it's more likely that you walk to the store and you walk to local places because everything is, is very close. The elevation is really high here so my heart is working harder my lungs are having to work harder so I am just losing weight, um, just living, which is cool. <laughs> like the people that I have met and have gotten to know are really genuine people and they don't have the same culture as the American people where it is where people just want to compete and uh, be fake or just be better than the other person. So I really enjoy the people here and how real they are. Also. A lot of the places I've been, everywhere that I've been, has been absolutely gorgeous. There's so many mountains and there's a lot of water here and a lot of natural places here. And something else that I wanted to go over was more of why I created this channel. And I really wanted to make this channel to help others pursue their dreams. 
and that is because I'm from a really small town from Rosebud, Arkansas, where there's a population of about 400 people, and I, I want to show people that it is possible to travel, and, and it is possible to do what you want, and you don't have to just work to pay the bills. And, and I grew up with a really big generation gap where my parent, I'm the only one in my family that really has ventured out and has lived in a different country and has used travel for leisure and for fun instead of thinking it's a bad thing or thinking you can't have a life and, and travel and you can't be happy and do what you want, but you can and I'm here to show you that. And I really wanted to make these videos to also cherish our memories of places that I've been and things that I do. And I wanted to show everyone how we live and hopefully you guys get inspired and hopefully somebody will enjoy these videos. So I'm really thankful that you watched this video. I hope you like and subscribe. I have a lot of new videos and new content coming up and I hope to be posting at least once a week from now on. Something else that I wanted to bring up was some upcoming updates. So in the next couple of weeks, I will be moving into my new house and this will be my first actual house. And I'm really excited because I will be able to show you guys um, the renovation and show you guys the normal house, like the normal living situation in Colombia and yeah, I'm really excited.